Right, still on with the exhaust. I put it on yesterday and it was blowing at every single joint. Unknown to me, there's a compound in there that I use. I didn't know, I'm not a mechanic. Right, while I'm waiting for me stuff to turn up, good old Amazon, I'm gonna show you how to put an Erzim strip in in seconds rather than minutes. Now I've got to do this. This one here. So I'm going to have to get trusty Sandra to hold this while I'm putting it in. But I shall prep and then I'll show you how easy it is. Right, change of plan on that. What I'm going to do is take this out and then I can get camera close up and show you. Right, I'm not going to put new in, otherwise you're going to show the other side up. Right, all it is, all it is, is a nozzle of your silicon things. You can buy these new. Right, the problem is getting the angle and the distance right as so It just, with a bit of a tight push, it goes inside. Right, what I did to measure is put the nozzle into the side that's it where you know what I mean so you need some of that's clear and then push it in until this edge touches the side of the nozzle and then mark it and then cut it at a bit of an angle right <coughs> all you do then is basically easy push oh, it can be a bit tight but... just pull it through yeah right. right all we do then leave a bit over right make sure the point Whatever you do, don't twist it. And then... So I mean there. Push it on here. What you could actually do is put the end on.
Well, you get the dress anyway. Um, I think I'm too tight. The nozzle needs cutting back a bit more, so I'll give that a go. Ouch. <laughs> right, that's it. Easy. It, the, the thing is, getting this right, you know what I mean? I've just found out then, if it's inside, inside the rail, it's a lot easier. So, anyway, yeah. Whereas that took about, what, a good half hour? It took five minutes. <laughs>